we're sharing this with you, but it's not something we want you to go do unless you're with a qualified instructor competent in teaching these types of maneuvers. Absolutely. If we're not to. going to fall out of the sky if we don't have the speed. However, we need to know what the characteristics of the helicopter are to get to that condition. Right. So we're setting up for our zero zero. Well, zero forty as I would like to cover because it's our recovery height at this uh, or four hundred feet will be our recovery height. That's the top of our height velocity diagram to accelerate. That's right. when you will accelerate. That's where we will around four hundred feet. You'll pick up so we can do a standard flare. Ex exactly. We want to pick up that speed. So we're at 60 knots, 2,300 feet. We're going to get as close to the runway as we can because with no speed, we're not going to be able to tell exactly if we're going to fall a little bit short or not. Right. So we want as much margin as we can. So we want to slow down and then again our setup into having almost zero ground speed. There we are. Then we're going to enter in three, two, one. We're going to lower our collective down, and we're going to stop our nose from falling down. We split our needles, and we want to keep our attitude, right? RPMs, there you go, they're building so up, so raise we're going to raise just a smidge. Tiny bit. Just a smidge, and we keep it that way. We said 1,300, we're going to push our nose forward. 1,300, nose forward, collective all the way down. We accelerate, 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 accelerate. There we go, 45 knots. We're going to flare, 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 introduce, level, and pull.